Why are wedding dresses expensive? If I put a dollar to every time someone asks me this question, by now, <laughs> Dan Kote will be learning. <laughs> but why won't the wedding dresses be expensive, truly? Look at the fabric we are using for your wedding dress. Do you think it's the one they are selling for 30,000 naira for five years? Wedding fabrics are actually pre-ordered sometimes. They are sold by specific vendors. Not all vendors can sell uh, bridal fabrics. Sold by specific vendors, sometimes pre-ordered, sometimes custom made, sometimes we do it ourselves, we start from scratch. We start a plain fabric or a plain tool, a plainness from scratch. We embroider it until it turns to fabric. So you now think that particular one will not be expensive when it's not something you are seeing on the ground. No, it is definitely going to be expensive. Also, uh, we can talk about the intricate details on wedding dresses. They are not dresses you just find anywhere. Sometimes we have to combine three to four laces on just a single dress. And sometimes when we can't combine laces, we have to make the dress from scratch by ourselves. Talking of making a plain fabric or a plain tool and bringing, bringing, and giving it life and making it something entirely different. Details on wedding dresses are not just ordinary ashebi bidding and all. It takes details. It takes a high and it takes an high that coordinates with the hand to see details to know how this will match. Not all laces can sew wedding dresses. Not all wedding dresses fabrics can sew a particular wedding dress style. You get it. So details is very important when it comes to wedding dresses. Okay, let's talk about the time we spend on the dress. Time spent on wedding dresses is not a day or two, like, oh, my designer made my wedding dress in eight hours. A proper wedding dress <laughs> takes weeks, months, sometimes more than a year for a wedding dress. And eventually when you see that, but maybe you will know that, oh, this dress, they spent time on it. They spent energy on it. You can basically see people sweat on it like this. First, depending on the type of wedding dress you are choosing anyway, but when I say wedding dress, I'm sure, of, I'm sure you know what is coming to your mind. You know that big ball wedding dress, that princess one that you are feeling, or that man made one with long tail. Uh huh. It means more materials and it means more money. You use yards and yards and yards and yards and yards of materials. Sometimes for net, we use about 400, 500, 300 yards on a dress. Now imagine, you know, we'll still buy kinoling, we'll still buy net, we'll still buy lining, we'll still buy this, we'll still buy that. Too. Everything in bulk. We we'll still buy beads, packs, packs of beads, packs of pearls, packs of all of those things. Now you think it will come cheap. Ha! Huh. My sister, even you said no that it can't come cheap. Okay, now what of the back and forth fittings? Only you will fit like 10 times on just one dress. Because of course we are not complaining because we want you to be snatched. We want you to look awesome. We want you to look beautiful. So all those fittings, running costs, coming, taking, doing this, do that, is money. So before we even remember those things like packaging, delivery, this, that, this, that. Mm -mm. Why will you not be expensive? 